Hey guys, it's One Fire back again with another episode of AWAS. Now a lot of stuff is going on, a lot of stuff is going to happen, so let's just go ahead and get into it. To start off, we're going to go ahead and go by the Phoenix Tree and go ahead and hatch our egg right quick. You guys remember? Ooh, no, not the shop list. We don't want the shop list. We want the Phoenix Tree. We want the Phoenix Tree. You guys remember, we put an egg in there on the very first episode, I believe it was. It was the very first episode or second episode. I can't remember which one. Pretty sure it was the very first episode. And it takes three days to hatch. So, as of currently, this egg should be ready to hatch. And we can go and hatch the egg. Ignore all these. Uh, well, you know what? Don't ignore them all. Let's go ahead and incubate these eggs right quick. I've been, I've been sent eggs and... There's, you guys remember the 92 eggs? I've started just pulling them all out. I'm going to go ahead and just add all these to incubate right quick. Be right back. Alright, guys, back again. Sorry. Took a couple minutes to actually do that, so... Well, I guess it wouldn't take that long for you guys now, did it? Uh, well, uh, what else? It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyways, as you guys can see here, I currently have... Let's see, which eggs are going to be coming up? Uh, that one's at three days and zero seconds. I believe it's these two that should be coming up. I believe Saturday. These two will probably be up on either of my. Pretty sure these two will be up on my weekly cap or all of them. We'll just put all of them on my weekly recap. I'll go ahead and hatch these all for you guys. So you guys see what happens. See what happens. But this is our very first egg for a was. This is what is called a random egg. This isn't a truly random egg, but this is a random egg. I just want to go to show you guys off what was actually the egg. I haven't even hatched this yet. I don't even know what's going to pop out of this. Out of all the different species, I believe there was uh, 27 species on here. It's 27. I believe there's 20 different, different species, not including custom eggs. So, three, two, one. Let's just see what pops out of this egg. I don't really know what's coming. You guys see this, right? <laughs> Everyone sees this. Okay, so, let's see, you have an egg incubated under the tree, we went and hatched it, congratulations, we got a strawberry swirl Mackie, and I'm really liking this, see, what I planned with this episode was a whole bunch of different, I didn't, I don't want to destroy this pet now, it's, it's in the cutie section, I don't want to destroy this pet, um, We're going to go ahead and create as a new pet. Because I have plenty of slots. I just got to go ahead and upload those slots right quick. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and create as a new pet. You can go ahead and create this one as a new pet. Because I, I really like this. It's cute. <laughs> I, I don't know all, but I have a thing for cute pets. And it's just like, yeah, I have a really big thing for cute pets. Sorry, guys. You can find the new Strawberry Mackie in your lair. So you're going to click on Pets, Lair. And you guys are gonna see that I organized the layer up a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ma uh, the the strawberry Mackie that we just got into the cutie file, so you guys can see I've started organizing my account a bit more. So all of tonight, around like just around all the stuff I'll be doing, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything organized on all my different sites. I'll have stories up. I'll have uh, lore up on different areas. Pretty sure you guys are not seeing what I'm seeing currently, do you? I, I don't see it. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go to pets. Oh, wait, display all pets. Hold on, I see it. Display all pets. I named my layer the spectral vessel. Which are like all the different colors and everything that's in here. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and be underneath it. It should be right underneath it, right? Yeah, they're right here. We're going to click on this. We're going to first put it in the all pets category and just hit update groups. I do got to set it to active. I should probably do that in a second, too. You guys can see just some of the site stuff that actually happens here. And we're going to put it into the cuties folder. So update the groups again. So now it's in both of those folders, plus the first page that's sitting here, which is the all pets folder. The all pets folder is just all of my pets. I'm going to leave that as, I left that as a, uh, as a default. So you guys just get to see all my pets in here. These are all my pets. I currently have 19 out of... Oh no, I have 21 out of 125. That makes no sense. Alright, well, I'm missing three that are supposed to be in here. I don't know which... Oh, I just got some pets. So I actually gotta put a couple more in here. Hold on. That one goes to all pets, and... So I just got these from uh, Chaos. Chaos literally just sent me a couple pets. It was that one, and I believe the fox. Yeah, all pets. You know, if we update the groups, it should hit 21, right? 21 now? 
Uh, yep, all pets are now in 21, and of course these don't add up to 21 right now, but I will get those going. And of course I made a folder for my own customs whenever I decide to make my customs. I'm going to try and make one by the end of this week, so you guys see what my art style is like, maybe, or something like that. Um, of course we do have that coin, and we have a whole bunch of other stuff that we can get as well. So in my account, in my deposit box, I'm going to show you guys everything that has been sent to me, everything like that. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to pull out, actually I don't even have to pull it out, I have an essence of January 2016 in my inventory right now, and this changes a pet entirely, I'm not changing uh, our TikTok, because thanks to Chris, she locked my pet so it can't be changed whatsoever, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys some of the pets in here. Now, I have a random generator on the on the secondary screen. I, I finally got a secondary screen because I figured I would need one when I get a new computer. So, I'm going to generate a number 1 through, I believe, it's 27 for locations, right? Uh, let's see. It should be about 27 in here-ish. So, I'm going to generate number 1 through 27. I'm going to set this to very common so that we just can get one easily, buy it straight up, and then I'm going to go ahead and change it with one of the vials or something else that we have. So, you guys just see how that works out. I'm going to generate the number now. Three, two, one. We got number nine, actually. So the location that we're going to go to is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll be the rainforest. We're going to drop by the rainforest, click search, and we're going to see what's in here. It can't be too many here. So we got five pages. Let's generate another number, one through five, right quick. One through five. Let's click on five. Hit enter. Generate number. We're gonna, it's page one. And let's see. We got two, four, six. Eight, ten pets on the first page. So generate number one through ten. Just getting this completely random. We got five. So on the f number five, one, two, three, four, and five. That is this blue bird right here. We're gonna go ahead and look for it and see if we can buy it. And then we're gonna change it it's using the vials that we have. Let's see. We have one for fifty. Can we? Let's see. We going to? I believe we view the shop. <laughs> I believe that's how we do it. Is view the shop and then we buy out of the shop that's actually here. Um, now let's see to find, let's see if we can find it, shall we? Uh, da, 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 da. View customs, view non-customs, I'm pretty sure that's, that'd probably be easier. Uh, nope, it's not easier. Okay, let's click on the second page, let's see if we can find it real quick. Be right back. And I am back, guys, so it took me a few minutes to do that as well, but then again, it wasn't that long for you guys again, that's kind of... Anyways... We got our pet here, and we went ahead and bought a couple more, so we can go ahead and do a couple more other things. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one was called a Blue Jay, right? Blue Jay Reeve. We're going to look for two... The, I bought two other Reeves, so we're going to go ahead and... Let's find the two of the Reeves in here right quick. I'm not going to block this out. Uh, da, da, da. We have the Chorus Reeve. Set that one as active. Display as active. And we should have a Love Reeve as well. A pink face Love Bird Reeve. Okay, so I currently have the blue reeve right here, I have the pink reeve right here, and there should have been one more. Where's the last one at? Uh, I forgot what, oh, and the black one right here. I might keep the black one, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and change the, the blue one and the pink one right quick. For the blue one, we're going to go to our account, our inventory. I'm going to scroll down to the this right here, the Essence of January 2016. I don't know what this does, guys. You guys see there's almost stuff in my inventory right now. But we're about to see. I'm, I have two of these, so I'm going to go ahead and show off what this does. It says, a hearth in honor of Hestia. So you guys know with like the Greek gods and everything, uh, Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, Hermes, uh, let's see who else we got up there. My favorite one from Greek mythology is Hephaestus. Uh, this is one from Hestia. I'm pretty sure Hestia is Greek mythology. If she's not, she might be Roman. One of the two. Guys, please don't yell at me. Hestia. Let me know where she's from. Pretty sure she's from Greek, but I don't really know. Uh, this fiery potion will transform your active pet into one of the January 2016 monthly colorations at random. So it's going to change the coloration of this pet right now. Let's see what we get. And we're going to click yes. Name this has been changed into a 
New Year's Oz Ozoa. Uh, there's no picture. Can we? I'll be just gonna reload the page. What in the world is that? Okay, hold on. Let's go to pets. My pets. Just see what's going on here. We have an Ozoa. This is one of the New Year's pets. Oh, that is that is unique. The 2016 like octopus thingy going on here. This is this is really cool, guys. All right, that is that is really cool. Let's see what some of the other ones do as well. Let's go ahead and set one of the. Let's go ahead and set the pink bird to active right quick. It has to be the active pet. So, is that make nameless active bird or make make the the reeve that is a bird or active pet? So the pink one down here is now active pet. I'm gonna click on account. I'm gonna go to the deposit box because I believe I have the pumpkin potions to show off. Ah, uh, pumpkin, pumpkin. Where's the pumpkin potions? Please on the second page. Let's show off those because I got five of those. I can't remember who I got it from. I'm sorry. Uh, Icy said it was chaos. I, th I'm guessing it was chaos. I don't remember who sent him to me. I'm very, very sorry, but I pretty sure it was you, Icy, because you have that special. Uh, you have the uh, da, 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 ancient brew that will enable you to create a custom pumpkin patch, King Soli. Oh. Never mind, this doesn't change our pet. I see what this does. Okay, this makes this can allow us to make a custom. So when we when we go into making custom pets, if I wanted to make a custom solely with 30% line edits, like if I wanted to change up some of the line art, I could change it up into like a uh a solely with a witch hat on or something. But there are other item changings in here as well, so don't get discouraged guys. There's more in here that I can't look at. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? There was some more. There is, I believe, what, what was this one? <laughs> there was a lot in here. See, this item can be used to create 50% edits. That's and also another line edit. Alter. Um, I believe the Glittering Rock. I'm pretty sure it was the Glittering Rock. Not the Tiny Glittering Rocks, but I believe it was the Glittering Rock. Yep. Glittering Rock we do have. We're going to see what this one does. Uh, you should bring this rock to Chimera. He absolutely loves it. Use this item on your active pet to transform it into any site coloration of your choice. Rarity 10 and AD are special. Okay, we're going to move it into our inventory. I believe Chimera was the dude that zaps things. Yes, move it into our inventory. I believe Chimera was... We're just going to look up who Chimera is right quick because I'm pretty sure he was the person who zaps things. Uh, let's see, play world, was it world? No, it was under play, and it was games list. I believe Chimera was the person who zapped stuff. This person, uh, no, this boutiques, uh, hold on, be right back. Hey, guys, I'm back again, it's just, I couldn't find Chimera. I don't know what's going on, he has a shop, it's called the Metalsmith Shop in here. I'll make sure to find it before the end of next episode, but... What I did was I pulled a tiny glittering rock out of our uh, out of our depot. I'm going to use a tiny glitter rock because I have ten of these and I only have one of the big rocks. So maybe something special happens if I give him to Chimera. So let's see. Please select the species you wish to change nameless into. Say what? Oh wow. Okay, so guys, I'm pretty sure you're seeing what I'm seeing here. The glittering rocks can give me literally any pet I want off the site. Like, let's see, what was what did what was the uh Let's see, it was an it was under L's, as I remember. The Chrono Keeper is under L's, I believe. It's laser. Like we could probably get another Chrono Keeper, actually. Ah, uh, da 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 da. The Maki, uh, yes, Maki. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Cro Pretty sure it's in here somewhere. Underneath the Maki, it should be Chrono Keeper. They're not. In, they're not in the order, which kind of throws it off. Or maybe I can't get another Chrono Keeper. Can we get another Chrono Keeper? 
There's a Phantom Maki, a Shadow Ghoul Maki, Space Rings Maki. That sounds really cool. Uh, the Chipmunk Monkey, Velvet Maki. I'm not seeing the Chrono Keeper, actually. I'm guessing Chrono Keeper is not on this list, but some of these, what I'm looking at right now, this is actually really, really cool. We could change our pet into any pet we want it to be on the site. Oh, Rare 70 and above. Okay, this one's Rare 70. So Rare 10 to Rare 70. That is actually really cool that you could do that. So I may use those in the future, maybe not. Um, let's go show off one last thing because there was a uh, deposit box. Back in the deposit box, there was something. I forgot which one it was. Give me a quick second. I uh, know, no, I'm not gonna cut it out. Give me a quick second. Ah, uh, da 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 da. There's the essence of January. We could change another pet into the squid again. It was. Where's the island one? The island. Okay, the island terrarium. I had two of these. I want to go ahead and use one right quick. Because it says it could change the coloration of the pet as well. I'm wondering if it changes the entire pet or whatnot. So we'll go and use this item and leave it off on this on the end of this episode. Next episode, I should get into breeding and games. I'm sorry, I probably should have done it this episode. But I wanted to show off some of the, the abilities to change your pet and the different things that are here on the site and stuff like that. So the island terrarium sitting right here. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, yes, we want to use this item. So, oh, it actually gave us a skull phanto. That is really cool. So it just gave us a pet, or did we change our pet? Did it change our pet, or no? See, when open this one, gives you one random pet from the East River region. Oh! But I only pulled out one. Pretty sure I pulled out one. What about the Delicious Soul? Is that something else too? Uh, no. Okay. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm still looking through. There's, like, a, literally a lot of stuff, guys. I have, there's a stuff in here that I haven't even touched. Like, there's still a black trunk. I can change my entire avatar into a black chat, into a black cat. There was another trunk in here, too, for something else. I forgot what it was. I've gotten the clock shield from Chris. I got a lot of stuff from a lot of different people, guys. I'm just trying to figure out whatever, what is all going on. I'm more than likely just going to have to cover things in, like, the weekly recaps and midweek recaps. Because I'm not going to be able to get through everything in this week. There's a whole bunch of stuff to go through. I might as well probably stop by... Let's see... I think we will do we'll do the games list tomorrow because breeding takes a long time from what we remember on the first page because the breeding pairs have to be drawn automatically. So I'll go ahead and make sure that I have everything ready for tomorrow. I know I have everything ready today. I should have had it already. That was my bad. So without further ado, my name is Juan Fire. I'm signing off from the Virtual Pet Dimension from the planet of Awas. I'll talk to you guys later.